Well, hello and welcome to the Daily Brew, the devotional where every day we drink a new brew of coffee and we see what God is brewing for us in the Bible. Yes, it's cheesy, but it's true. And you join me here in Noosa in Australia, in Queensland. And I'm actually standing in the middle of a car park here at Noosa Church trying to record this devotional for you because my luggage has been left in Auckland, New Zealand. And all of the recording gear, all of everything, my clothes, everything left in Auckland, New Zealand. I landed yesterday, I still don't have my luggage, but that's fine, that's fine. We thought maybe the bag would come, so we're recording this late and in a car park for you today, so if the audio quality is not up to standards, you can um, you can have some grace for me today. Uh, but it is great to have you here, no matter where you are across the world, joining me for today's journey through the Bible. 365 days of the year, this is day 187, and it is good to have you with me today. Now, the brews that we're going to be, re- uh, not the brews, the Bible that we're going to be reading today, Psalm 81, verse 1 to 7, Acts 25, 1 to 22, and 2 Kings 12, 1 to 14, 22. So uh, if that's confusing for you, they're in the descriptions, as always, uh, on every platform that you're watching or listening to today. Now, uh, we don't have any brews because I am in a car park, um, but I am looking forward to trying to find some Australian coffee for us tomorrow. But it's also, for those of you who normally watch, it's also less engaging, not you know being able to see my face and my reaction. So if you're normally listening to the podcast, it, it probably won't matter to you. I'm just thrown off a little bit by being in a car park, but that's fine, you know, we move. Let's get into the Bible though, the reason that we are here for today. We face testing times, don't we? We always face them though with God on our side. He doesn't leave it up to us to try and figure out what's happening and navigate it all on our own. If anything, we leave God and we try and go at it on our own, not the other way around. God says in the Psalm today that He removed the burden from their shoulders. This is the God we serve. He does indeed remove the burden we find ourselves carrying. God takes the weight of the world that either we place on our shoulders or that others put there. Not only that, he rescues us from a hard life of pain. Whatever you face, even if it's your luggage being left in Auckland, know today that you do not face it alone. God is with you. When you face these tough times, the key is to run to God and not try and do it all on your own. You cannot navigate your way through the things of God, the things that God can. You cannot navigate your way through the things that God can. So run to God in prayer. Don't run to the world in pain. When we talk about having a a faith, When we talk about having faith, we are talking today about putting our trust in God. In Acts today, Luke records Paul's trial in a very black and white way. There's no emotion. It's like reading a shopping list of facts. Imagine what this whole season would have been like for Paul. He's this great leader, an extraordinary evangelist, a teacher of teachers and leaders, a man set on fire for God. And now he faces this trial and is being blocked from being able to do what he is called to do. Imagine not just the emotional and spiritual struggles, but the physical ones too. Being stuck in prison, which is effectively just a hole in the ground, not like the prisons we have in the Western world. The charges he's facing are pretty serious, and his defense is that he's done nothing wrong. Notice though how Festus, which let's be honest is an absolutely horrible name, Festus is more interested about doing what the people think, not the facts of what's actually going on. When I look at Festus and the way he chooses to lead and make decisions here, he does it all wrong. He's led by his fear of man. Ultimately, he wants to people please. For us, as leaders and as Christians, we need to evaluate, am I doing this because the Lord said to and because it's what's right or because it's what the people said to do? Festus was ultimately more concerned about popularity than justice. We cannot afford to be Festus Christians. God is not pleased with this kind of leadership or lifestyle. And finally today, we're in the middle of a rather depressing part of the history of the kings of Israel and Judah. We see a mixture of leadership here, some who do evil in the eyes of the Lord and some who do right in the eyes of the Lord. When it comes to leaders, uh, us as leaders, and when it comes to leaders in the Bible who do evil in the eyes of the Lord, Jehoaz is an example of this. But what did he do when he realized he had been doing evil? He sought the Lord's favor. And to my surprise, when he sought the Lord's favor, the Lord listens to him. Wait, so are you telling me that I don't need to be perfect for the Lord to hear me and answer my prayers? That's exactly right. God doesn't expect perfection. He just expects our progression. It's crazy to me that even when stuff pops up as Christians, and even when we stuff up as as Christians and as leaders, we can come back to the Lord and ask Him for His forgiveness and favor. 
Not only can we ask him for it, God always answers. When we genuinely make mistakes and when we genuinely come with a humble heart and a humble request, we progress to becoming more like Jesus and we take steps towards healing and wholeness. If you've stuffed up today, if you've done evil in the eyes of the Lord, stop sulking and sitting on your own. Seek the Lord, receive His grace and receive His mercy today. Three, two, one. Verse of the day. Verse of the day today, Psalm 81, 1. It says, sing for joy to God our strength. Shout aloud to the God of Jacob. Sometimes you just need to shout aloud to our God and remember the good things that He has done. Next time you're in church, give it a go. Get away from the golf claps, people. Lift up a shout of praise and lift up a shout of gratitude. That is it for the Daily Brew today, done and dusted. Rather unorthodox, I'll admit, here in Noosa, Australia, day 187 of 365. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, I trust that it's been okay uh, on, well, here in this car park. Tomorrow we'll be back with another Daily Brew and hopefully the luggage with all the recording gear will arrive. Otherwise, it'll be another podcast only if you are watching on YouTube and like to see my beautiful face. Unfortunately, that's not possible for right now. Hey, a massive thank you to everybody on Spotify and Apple Podcasts who's taken a moment and followed the podcast already and rated it. I know this one's probably not five stars, but go ahead and rate it five stars anyway. And for you on YouTube, thank you for joining. Make sure you subscribe, click the bell so you never miss a devotional upload or any of the content that we release here on the YouTube channel. But that is it for today. If it's the start of your day, have a great rest of your day. Unless it's sleep time, good night, sleep tight. And we'll see you tomorrow back here on The Daily Brew.